I have uh, just decided to take a trip to Krugersdorp to have a blast from the past. Um, I have just, just reached the corner of Cradlestone Mall and the memories are overwhelming. But a memory that I had completely forgotten just hit me as I got to the robots here that are by the Sassel garage. And um, what happened was, is there was a lot of traffic. I mean, it was peak hour traffic. It was moving. And I mean, there was no gaps between any of the cars that were going. And this one guy randomly decides to run across the street um, the, on the side where I was driving. And about two or so cars in front of me, one of those cars ends up hitting this poor guy. And I kid you not, I watched this guy, uh, he was flung up into the air or knocked up into the air, however you want to put it, um, probably between 10 to 20 feet. And uh, he spun about two, three times and then he landed flat down on his face on the ground. The way in which he was hit was horrific. Um, he was dead on the spot, I can tell you that now. Um, but what I wanted to add to that is with this memory, I was on the way to see Cecilia that, uh, that day and when I got to her flat, uh, she was busy talking to Rhea in her bedroom and I, I went into the bedroom and eventually when there was a gap with, of silence there so I could actually say something, I remember my first words as if they were yesterday and I said to her, you will never guess what happened when I was on the way to you and Cecilia turned and looked at me and she said a guy was hit running across the street and he was flung up into the air and it, when he hit the ground he was dead on the spot. Um, I was stunned to silence. I don't think I even said yes. I was just stunned. How did she know? I was driving and I got to her and she just knew this had happened. Again this is another big question mark with regards to her supposed claims that she would astral with each of us at any given time and as far as we knew and especially with me it was at all times. I mean the typical theory was that when I was driving she would be next to me in the passenger seat. So again I pose the question, was she really next to me in the passenger seat, especially when all of this happened? Because aside from the horrific memory and the horrific visuals of the man that was killed on the spot, uh, how, how did she know? How did she know?